Hi everyone, I'm at Okie Data Booth. My name is Troy Downey. I'm standing in front of a brand new piece of equipment, the Color Painter E64S. This is the little brother to the M series. Obviously, as being that it's a color painter, it is an eco-solvent machine, and it is for, built for outdoor durability. For those of us that are in the wraps trade, is outdoor durability is king. And being that eco-solvent and ink penetration are what are most important to us, is uh, this does handle that. Obviously, the M series is the hot rod of the bunch, but from a, from a standpoint of a pricing, is uh, the E series has now borrowed that technology at half of the price. So now everyone can participate in the color painter platform. So just for most of us in the wraps industry, is when we are qualifying a printer, there are a lot of things that are important that not necessarily can you test on your own. So we're gonna do a couple things today to actually help you see what ink penetration is and what outdoor durability is to us for a vehicle wrap. So again, just hang with us a little bit here. We're gonna shift over and we're gonna do an ink penetration test. Okay, everybody, we're over here at the Aoki Data Booth. We're gonna do that ink penetration test I told you about. Okay, so for a lot of you out there, you don't have the opportunity to do this, nor will a lot of the different printer manufacturers actually demonstrate this in their booth. So we are confident enough that we will do it here. So I wanna show you is I've got Avery Dennison's Cast Media EZRS printed black. This is 540 by 540 and uh, we've got great penetration. But the key is, is I can tell it to you, but it's easier to show you. So obviously you can see it's black. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this upside down, up on its side so you guys can see just how far I'm gonna descend my hand down into this media after I soften it. So hang in there, here we go. So I'm gonna probably take this material in upwards of 200, probably 200 degrees, which obviously 200 degrees, is about 20 degrees over what we should ever really impart into this media. Bear with me, it takes a minute. So ink penetration for a lot of the printers out there is a challenge. When we're going around corners and that type of thing, we don't wanna lose our print. All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna wait a minute and let this cool for a second so it'll hold its pattern. The nature of cast, cast vinyl is that it'll hold its shape once cool. So as you, obviously, as you can see with the camera, as I've descended down into it, but the proof is right here is that you can see that it's still all black. Now, I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but that is proof in actual physically showing you that ink penetration is king. So back to the whole point that I was making earlier is for outdoor durability, that is the first and foremost thing that you wanna make sure when you're buying a, an, a piece of equipment for wraps is that all of that stuff's gonna be used for outdoor durability. So the beauty of buying outdoor durability is that everything will work indoors as opposed to doing the other way is that, man, it's great for indoors, but yet it's gonna be kinda okay for outdoors, that's really not a platform for you. So I recommend that when you're stepping up to the plate to buy a new piece of equipment, is make sure that it qualifies out like the color painter. So we got good, good, good ink penetration. It's got a price point that's half of the M. There's 15 grand for this, 30 grand for the M. And for a lot of you, the M series platform, for those of you that are already in the biz, you know, that's high speed, man. That is, that's the hot rod. But not necessarily does everybody need the hot rod. So remember, the E64S is the platform for any entry level or people just getting into the business. So uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring this back to its original form. Uh, we're gonna move over to the truck and we'll do a little bit more for you of tips and tricks. And, uh, and uh, thanks for spending the time with us right now. We'll be back shortly. So this is the nature of cast vinyl is to always seek its original form. We're just gonna give it a little bit of help. So for a lot of you guys, you think, oh, they're just reversing the tape, right? So 
So that's the beauty of cast vinyl, and more importantly, that's the beauty of ink penetration. So when we're going around those bumpers and all of that stuff, that's king. So obviously, pretty awesome, right? All right, everybody, we're at the F-250 now. Uh, we've got our prints from the new Color Painter E64S series. And um, we printed on Avery Easy RS with a 1.3 mil overla matching overlaminate. Uh, obviously, it'll be very conformable. Uh, we got huge ink penetration, as you guys did. We demonstrated earlier, or you will see shortly, one or the other. And um, the boys right now, Albert, Tommy are here. They're gonna both, uh, they're gonna pop the back of this off and hit the mark. So we've got pretty pre-marked it to make sure that that pinstripe line lays right down on it. I got it. Talk to me. Good. All right, so whenever we're doing these is we wanna make sure everything's bed sheet tight. We don't wanna put, we're not trying to stretch it. We're just making it nice and tight. Okay, passing across. All right, so whenever we're setting the graphics, obviously you're gonna see the guys do a lot of things here. Uh, we'll make this bed sheet tight right here too. So we just want it to be like it is, uh, looks like it's already applied. And then we're not gonna install the pinstripe first, but we're gonna install, install just below it. Just below it, and this is gonna set the graphic. And that's what's important on all of this. Now, so what we've done is we've broken it up into two pieces, okay? We've got an upper and a lower. The graphic is set. We no longer have to worry about the logos and that kind of thing. A couple of the things that, that are, are important is whenever working with this media is there's a lot of the folks out there in the wraps business that will pressure all of these indentations down with their finger. It's really not a recommended practice, but because it's so extreme. So what I recommend that you do is go ahead and, and get your lines so, uh, develop there and then what we do is we actually weave this in all right so with my covered squeegee I'm using a wet edge with a covered squeegee so I'm gonna go ahead and feed the material up in there again I'm gonna do it again I'm gonna I'm gonna you will watch this move up into there I'm gonna feed it into it I'm not pressuring it in that's called weaving all right and we do that all the way down to catch up with my application and then I reestablish my line and slowly work my way down and weave it all the way down the vehicle. All right, now you see that this is installed, that's installed, and so is the valley. And then I can go ahead and I can hit the actual flare itself. Yep. And there's this, so we'll catch back up. Going at you, Tommy, there we go. Going at you. All right, just reestablishing my line, defining my edge. You can see this edge, I'll define it with my finger, a gloved hand preferably. And feed it down into the channel. Feed it down into the channel. And that's called weaving. And what I'm doing is there's no pressure on the material, so, so from a, from a no return standpoint, that means that the vehicle's not coming back, is it'll stay down in there. It never has to seek its original form because it's in there in its original form. So this is being in the check cash in business as opposed to it coming back and having to fix it and being in the check writing business. All right, you guys, so obviously we wove all that in, but this is such a mild indentation is that I could actually take the palm of my wrap glove and I can actually do that all in one move. The key is though, after you do that, is you've got to heat it in. You got to post heat that, man, to get that to lock down and start that curing process. All right, so as we go down the rest of the car is always keeping everything nice and tight. Whenever you got these little wrinkles, they want to kind of impart a little bit of a peak and valley. And it will, it will impair the way you put that material down. If you can do everything that you can to keep this nice and clean is always a better practice. Let's 
go ahead and uh, move on over to uh, to Albert, and Albert's going to show you a couple techniques for the backside and some cutting. All right. So it's time to use the knife. So we've got Albert Hatfield at 5150 Wraps out of Florida, and uh, he's going to show you uh, the way he cuts. Uh, you'll notice that he's going to lay the blade off to create a little bit of material to wrap around the actual door. His he is going to be bracing his blade against the door as opposed to the body of the truck, keeping more of the material from this cut for the actual body of the bed and just a small tab to cover the edge of the, of the actual gap fuel door. And here we go. You guys can see that the angle of his blade stays the same with the weight, that it always stays in the same angle. It's always about 45 degrees laid off in the direction that he's going. That That's the part that never changes. Obviously, we're putting a little bit of pressure on him that he would normally move his body to access that. He would go upside down. So it's exercising his uh, efforts. You're gonna use the master heat gun for that okay so now what the key is is that now it's cut he's not going to lay it all down at this finger yet he's going to go ahead and hit it with heat to soften it all that'll make that nice and monolithic around those doors in that body and then he'll go back through and squeegee it all in so patience is everything when doing these wraps a little bit of extra time spent now pays off dividends later. The whole concept of doing this stuff is so that it never comes back. If it comes back, you're no longer in the check cashing business, you in the check writing business. Voila, there you go, there's fuel door cut. So again, if you guys need any help or tips or tricks, keep an eye on the the Oki Data site for that, and uh, as well as keep your eye out for, for guys like Albert and ourselves. Uh, be our pleasure to help you guys. We're here for support. Good luck, everybody. Happy wrapping, man.